Hello, everyone. Welcome to Take 5, the show where we take five minutes to interview some of the most interesting people in our world today. Today we'll be interviewing a local actor-writer from Saginaw, Michigan and Delta College, Michael Blodgett. If you would like to come up and join us right now, Mike. Going pretty good. How about you? Yeah, terrible. Terrible. That sounds good. Um, now I know you're a character actor. What kind of process do you go through when you break into character before a skit, like Ooh. Naked Mike or Gay Farmers? Um, well, you know, Naked Mike is a skit that, uh, or a character rather, that I've worked on personally. Uh, I've brainstormed so many ideas about him that you know it's really easy to get it into that character just because I already know what to expect from him. Um, but uh, like a gay farmers, that's a completely different style of skit that we've ever done. Um, it was completely improvised, so you know it's just Paul Hauser and I standing out in a field and just getting into getting our accents going, and then just saying crazy stuff to each other. And then you know whoever's running the camera at the time will just say, "All right, that's it." <laughs> and then you know it's very pretty hard to do without giggling. Oh, very hard to do. We've had a lot of outtakes in our day. Well, I'd many, say. many outtake. Uh, what do you think is your greatest or most memorable acting moment so far? Greatest or most memorable? Um, it's you can pick one. Okay, let's go with the uh, greatest. The greatest one um, actually wasn't an acting moment. It was a post-acting moment, I guess you could call it. Uh, we had just gotten done with uh, episode two of Sketchbox, a little online show that we do, and uh, we sent care packages of uh, actually Christmas presents to these guys at uh, SNL, a couple of writers and a couple of cast members, and. Uh, they called Paul and I as we were driving to Grand Rapids. One of them called us on the phone, talked to us. It was very exciting, and he's like, "Yeah, I liked them. They're really funny. You know, keep doing it. Keep doing it." So, you know, that was that was awesome, actually. I'd say. Now I know you write as well. Do you prefer writing to acting? Um. Yeah, actually, uh, writing. I. It's it's a tough call because you know being on camera is a lot of fun. You know, but oh, writing yeah. writing there's no flaws in writing. Um, well, there are sometimes, but Tapa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Spell check usually gets you. But um, when I write, when I'm writing with Paul, um, it's perfect. It's perfect in my head. I know exactly what I'm going to get out of it, and it's always just perfectly funny. Everything's on time. Whereas you know, acting, you can screw up outtakes, and it yeah. might not always be what you wanted. Now I know you love writing and acting, but do you really see a future in writing or acting, or is it more of a hobby right now? Mm, right now, at this point in my life, it's more of a hobby. I mean, I love writing, and being on camera is always fun, no matter what time it is, if it's a skit or not. But um, right now, I'm, I'm young. I'm trying to get school out of the way so I can enjoy those sort of things in my life. I'm sure after I get my degree and stuff, I'll, I might jump back on the bandwagon, but um, it's too fun to stay away from, you know? Yeah. But right now, I just want to get school out of the way and those sorts of things. Uh, what actors or writers have inspired you to write your own material? I don't really hear a lot about writers, but um, I'd say no specific actor um, has influenced me. Uh, mainly actresses, you know, um, Renee Zellweger. She's good. A She's got a weird one. last name. Um, yeah, that's that was the main appeal for me actually. The longer the last name, the more appealing. I don't really care about their uh, stage performance. It's all about you know the name. But um, you know, Drew Barrymore, Barbara yeah. Streisand, Cher. Cher Cher's Cher. a big one. She's got a long name. She has got a huge name. Actually, you only know it as Cher, but it's actually um, Cheris Kapalapanapanis. It's Greek. I'll look that up on Wikipedia. You should. All right. Um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, at home, watching TV. That's where I see myself in about 30 seconds. Um, real quick. Any you must drive really fast. It's very. I live right there. <laughs> Uh, any inspirational or motivational things you can say to the upcoming actors or writers? Oh, well, you know, if you're, no matter if you're acting or if you're writing or if you're going to be a doctor, whatever you're going to do, it's fun to talk about it. Hey, wouldn't it be fun if I do this? But if you're serious about it and you, you really want to do it, you, there's a difference between talking about it and doing it. And I strongly feel whatever you're passionate about, do it, no matter what it is. Do it. If you like holding babies, go do it. Stop watching this. Go hold some babies. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us today, Mike. It's been very fun. Um, you can join us next week. Really we'll be talking to the dog from Air Bud. We'll see you next week. Air Bud, huh? Air Bud. That should be fun.